I saw him here somewhere. <gasps> hmm. Where did he go? <gasps> Hi, and welcome back to Easily Agreeable Reviews. Want to watch a review free of criticism? You've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the latest title to grace the PS5, Kina, Bridge of Spirits. The first feature game from studio Ember Labs, considering that, it's ridiculous how solid this game is. Like everyone, I was blown away by how beautiful this game was when it was first revealed at Sony's State of Play. It truly looks like a Pixar movie. And it's fair to say that quality seen in the trailers remains throughout the entirety of this game. Tonally, the Pixar comparison works too. Kina Bridge of Spirits is about the main character, Kina, adventuring to a mountaintop to save a village full of spirits from its curse. Also straight out of the Disney playbook is the adorable sidekicks that follow you throughout the game. And the developers know how cute this is, since they let you put little hats on them. Gameplay wise, this borrows from a lot of games. It's Dark Souls mixed with God of War mixed with Zelda. The combat is that classic dodge and roll, poke and stab style. Surprisingly you'll have to get quite good at it, as many of the bosses are deceptively hard. But many of the regular enemies can take you by surprise too. All this is to say don't go into the game expecting an easy ride. I did, and I was caught by surprise. But don't worry, there is a story mode option if you just want to experience the game for its beautiful visuals. This game feels like it has a reason to exist on the PS5. Also, if you really hate combat, don't worry, because it's only about a third of the game. The rest are puzzles and exploration. Kina offers some fun like puzzling, nothing that will break your brain, but it's fun and it's interwoven with the platforming very well, making the world very fun to traverse. You're always problem solving your way across the world, and you're always rewarded for exploring every corner. And every corner is full of treasures, and every reward feels meaningful. It never feels like you're collecting for the sake of collecting. There's always a cool cosmetic or character bonus waiting. Overall, I think Kina is a pretty incredible first game for a studio, and it's well worth a buy. It's definitely a game I could see myself replaying as well. The highlight of the game for me was the gorgeous Ghibli Pixar inspired cutscenes, but everything here is great, so I'm giving this a 9 out of 10.